Got him. He popped it hard. Oh my gosh, JJ. That is another nice one. Another good one. Oh, it's a nice fish. Oh, that's a really nice one. Grab him. Big one. That's a big one. It's a real big one. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay and we have yet again returned out here to the Cypress Tree Swamp and we are hoping to get in there and hopefully catch some crappie. We've yeah. been catching quite a few over the last week and a half, two weeks or so, and we're hoping that we can catch some more. This bite window does not last for very long in the fall, so we're trying to catch as many as we possibly can while they are here and we're both very excited. It's one of our favorite ways to fish, you know, with a little jig beneath the bobber and it's just beautiful scenery and it's mm -hmm. just, it's just really awesome. It's a lot of fun to catch these fish out here. So we're going to try to do just that. We hope you all are excited to join along with us out here on this afternoon crappie fishing adventure. If so, do us a huge favor. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of these future wild and crazy crappie fishing adventures. But that being said, we got slabs to catch. Let's go. Let's do it. He popped it hard. It's a decent fish. Oh, it's a real decent fish. Oh, stay on there. Stay on there. Stay on there. Get in the boat. Yeah. There we go, guys. There's the first one of the afternoon. He absolutely crushed that little salt and pepper jig. That is definitely a keeper. He's gonna be like 12 inches or so. Really, really nice fish. That's exciting. Getting the afternoon started off just right with a big old keeper slab crappie let's get some water in that bucket and let's get back out there another one big and oh he came off oh no that was another giant oh that's a nice one that's a nice one jj oh that's a really nice one grab me. yeah <laughs> Okay, I just lost that big one, but now Jay is on the board with another monster black crappie. A slab, that baby. That is a slab. He looks so beautiful with the light coming in on the I back know. side of his fins. Wow, what a beautiful fish. We're trying to be quiet. We don't want to spook these fish. We're in a very, very small little area. So we're going to drop this one in the bucket and get back out there and see if we can get another one. Put him in the bucket. <laughs> oh, God. Big and another good one. Another good one. Oh, that's a nice fish. Get up here. <laughs> There's my second keeper crappie of the day. Another one just on that little one and a half inch tube. That makes three keepers so far. There are definitely some good ones here in this little spot. That is exciting. There we go. That's a good one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, JJ. That is another nice one. Oh, she flipped him in. Ho, ho, ho. Just flip him right in. Oh my gosh, we are catching nothing but slabs right now. That is so exciting. And did you see me just flipping right in the boat? And you just flipped him in. <laughs> that was awesome. There's this nothing. is definitely a bucket worthy fish. Absolutely. Whew. Drop him in there. That sun is starting to set. Hopefully it'll go down sooner than later because it is really bright, but yeah. we're slaying them, so it don't matter. <laughs> oh, get him. Get him. Get him. Another big one. Another big one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, another good one. This is so much fun. Oh, can't get enough of it. Drop him in there. Give me some. Some bastards having field day on those shad. Got him. Got him. It's loaded. It's loaded. That spot is loaded. Oh, nothing but keepers, too. Look at him go. 
in the boat. Boom, that's another nice one. Mm. They're biting it on after long pauses. So we'll twitch it a couple times, let it sit there for like three or four seconds, maybe even five seconds, and then they just pop it, they bust it. Suck the whole thing down. Ooh. That's a crappie. That's a big old sucker. Yes, sir. Ooh. It was a little cat and mouse game for a minute, but we finally got him in the boat. We changed our angle because that sun was just blind, I guess. It was ridiculous. It was hard to film in. And uh, this is actually a much better um, angle to where we're actually trying to cast at. Ooh, Jay just got smoked. That's another nice keeper in the bucket. My bobber was gone. That's not a crappie. I think these guys are responsible for messing with our heads. Yellow bass pull it down similarly to a crappie, but they ain't the same. There we go. Ooh, is that a crappie? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Slabs only. I am catching nothing but slabs. And I am loving it. Look at that fish. Let me see that big guy. Ooh, big old fatty. <laughs> Drop him in with his buddies. Yee yee. That's a big one. It's a real big one. It's a real big one. It's a really big crappie. Oh. Gotcha, son. That's how you do it right there. That is the biggest one of the day. Look at the size of that mouth. I swamped it to a little bit larger size plastic. I threw into a big old pot of minnows and I didn't even move it. He just busted it. He thought one of his little minnow buddies he was stalking died and he ate it. Big old guy. Okay guys, the sun has nearly set. Man, what an eventful little afternoon out here on the lake it was. It was kind of stressful. We were trying to be quiet in some of these spots. There were some other anglers looming in the distance. You know, we were trying to not give away the hot spot because it was on fire. Oh, Jay's in the bucket gonna get a couple of these slabs out to show us. She just got soaked. It's so funny to turn us around. She just got <laughs> got by those slabs, didn't you? <laughs> that really big one that you caught just splashed me. Yeah, that big one that I caught last second was a really nice addition to the bucket. But all the fish, we caught them right here, basically. This little hole. Not sure why they were hanging there, but they were. They were, oh gosh. Oh, look at that. Look at that fish. That, that is. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it is awesome. And that is why you come out here and do some crappie fishing in the fall time because big slabs, will they'll gang up. And if you get a little honey hole like this, you can catch them one after another until you catch them all basically. Cool. But I think we have like eight or nine or maybe even 10 in the bucket. We'll count them up when we get back to the house, but we need to get there before it gets too dark. What a monster. <laughs> yeah, that is a stud. I think that has to be the biggest one we've caught so far this oh, fall. Yeah. He's oh not, gosh, he's, he's not too, I don't think he's two pounds, but he's gonna be like, pound and three quarters or so he is a thick boy he's gonna have some big old fillets on him <laughs> all right let's put him back in the bucket and let's get out of here before we get lost or something something yeah. bad happens we've had a good afternoon <laughs> the best Well, we got the fish all cleaned and cooked up and today we are going to be making one of my favorites and that is a slabby patty so we have all of our ingredients that we're going to be using right here we got our little helper cypress how you doing is, today cypress this is his first time making slabby patties he just dropped his spatula uh-oh uh-oh now he's going to try to grab my bun <laughs> but anyways let's show you guys how we like to put together our slabby patties um, so we have our buns and we have some tartar sauce 
you got to have tartar sauce. But Cole doesn't like tartar sauce, so he doesn't put it on his. But it definitely tastes really good on there. Here. I'm just going to get a little out. I'm not left-handed. <laughs> All right, now we're going to grab our piece of fried fish, a.k.a. our slabby patty. We're going to lay it on there. And then we're going to top it with some tomato. And we have some romaine lettuce. And you cannot not have pickles. So we're going to add some delicious pickles. I just picked these up at the grocery store today, and I've got to say, they are... They By far, really, some of the best pickles I've ever had in my life. They are really good. Sorry I'm picking them out with my hand. That's okay. They're called butcher shop pickles. And this whole tub was like three bucks. I was like, dang, I cannot pass that up. Okay, so we have the pickles on. Now, we put the top bun on. And we have a slabby patty. Cypress, what do you think about that slabby patty? Does it look good? You think you get to eat it with your two teeth? Yeah. <laughs> Looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> You weren't much help putting it together. No, you weren't. Oh gosh, <laughs> oh, gosh. and you're gonna destroy it, aren't you? Don't destroy you? it, Cypress. Destroy Don't destroy it. It's a work of art. <laughs> Jay, you made that thing look delicious. Now let's see how it tastes. Okay, here we go. Cypress. Oh, Cypress. Cypress, leave my plate alone. This takes two hands. <laughs> mm. What do you think about it, Cypress? Oh man. <laughs> That is fantastic. Oh my goodness, this is like the best. These sloppy patties are like my favorite ways to eat fish. Is it better than a filet of fish at McDonald's? Oh yeah, oh yeah. We could give McDonald's a run for their money with this. <laughs> if we ever open up a food truck, we'll definitely have to make uh, sloppy patties. <laughs> yes. Let's we'll make our poor man's lobster fish. We'll have our sloppy patties. We'll have just regular fried fish and it'll be good. Mm. Well, Cypress, can you run the food truck for us? Colin J food truck? <laughs> you wanna do that? He said, I just want to block Ma's face. <laughs> Where are you trying to go? I don't know what he's doing. He's just all over the place. Cypress, that's probably going to be your favorite sandwich one day. You're going to be like, Mom, you make me a sloppy patty? Oh, Cypress, you dropped your spatula. We're hoping that Cypress is a little <laughs> chef in the making. This guy goes nowhere without his little spatulas. <laughs> <laughs> this has been his favorite lately. The white end with the red handle. He can tell which ones are which. Yeah. He really likes this one. He's so sweet. He's also a little sleepy. It's kind of why he's yeah. acting up just a little bit. But that's okay. We all act up a little bit whenever we're tired and hungry. <laughs> yeah. But she's not hungry. No, he, he just ate a bunch of food, so he's good. He's just ready for a nap. Okay, so that's going to wrap up today's episode. We're going to... I'm going to make my Slabby Patty sandwich, and Jay's <laughs> going to finish hers yes. that she created before it gets cold. And we're going to figure out somewhere to put Cypress for a minute so we can eat these sandwiches <laughs> in peace because he's wanting to just shred them. <laughs> but guys, we hope you all enjoyed hanging out with us on the lake. It's always a blast being able to take you all out there with us and catch some Slabby cropping we're looking forward to many more crappie fishing adventures this fall and hopefully we can catch some even bigger slabs so mm -hmm. guys if y'all enjoy the episode do us a huge favor hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures we're Colin J and baby C and we'll see you on the next one say bye bye guys can you bye. say bye Whoop. Psh.